Yo, what's good? It's your boy. Back at it with another video, a new series. This is the Mars Through Signs series, basically, right? So, starting off with Mars and Aries. Um, before we start, though, I need you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel, right? I need you to like if you do like the um, content, and if not, that's cool too, you know what I mean? God bless you. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and um, let's talk about this Mars through Aries sign, right? We're going to go through all of the 12 signs with Mars coming through it and what it means, right? Now, Mars basically, right, um, in Roman mythology is known as the god of war. It's known as the god of war. Being that Mars is known as the god of war, in a chart it can represent conflict quarrels in the area that it's actually in basically that's one of the things right um it can also show how you act basically um it can show desires how you direct your energy it can show how you deal with anger and aggression your mars sign it represents your sexual expression as well um and it also represents your ideal boyfriend archetype for a woman in a woman's chart right um, I already said that it's going to state where you have conflict, quarrels, um, it can show strife in that area in terms of the house, um, and even by sign, you know, you can see things that it's going to show up as, right, and that's because Mars is the god of war, warfare, basically, right? Now, when Mars goes into the sign of Aries, it's very comfortable here, right? This is because this actually has the dignity, right? Um, Mars is actually comfortable here in the sign of Aries, right, because it's home here. Um, Mars is home to Aries and Scorpio, basically. So it's a very comfortable placement. Um, now, in terms of how you act, um, one thing I want to state, though, is when you're looking into a birth chart, there's always multiple areas that you need to compare, right? If you want to find out about somebody's actions, you need to compare the Mars sign, right, um, with the ascendant sign basically which is basically the first house what's going on in that first house this will tell you how somebody acts because it's the mask that they wear so uh mars are your actions but acting or act is basically a word keyword that's inside of the word actions right so in terms of how you act um you're someone who's very like um very much of a go-getter leader pioneer you could be a bit uh domineering at times you know what i mean some may find you impulsive at times too, you know, when you have displacement. But um, yeah, just a leader. On the negative side, maybe a bit selfish because Mars, um, especially in Aries too, is a very independent type of energy. You know what I mean? You guys like to do your own thing. Um, you know, and I consider Aries the sign of the warrior, basically, right? Especially with Mars here. Mars is uh, it's a planet that represents warfare. So, like I said, it's home here, all right? In terms of your desires and the way you direct your energy, you could desire to be a leader, maybe to do your own thing, basically. Um, or you need to be a leader, basically, if you're not. Now, um, other planets, basically, um, can change this in terms of aspects to the Mars sign that may alter things. But this is general energy in terms of your desires and the way you direct your energy, trailblazing. Right? Anger and aggression. Let's talk about this. You guys can be very direct, but a bit impulsive. Um, Aries is the first sign, so it's kind of like a child, right? And children don't think. They, they kind of go off how they feel, right? So even when it comes to directing energy, you may move in that manner, basically, to where you're um, you're very direct, like I said, and impulsive, um, but may not think things through. That's the only negative side, but it, again, it's, it's comfortable here. You may find that you love to fight. Um, again, aspects made to your Mars sign will also kind of change your fighting style. Um, as an example, you may have Mars making a aspect of Pluto and that could make you more controlled in terms of how you fight or more calculated as opposed to just impulsive. So that's just one example. You know, different aspects will say different things about your fighting style, but just want to throw that in there, right? Look at aspects. One other thing is that Aries rules over the head and Mars rules over heat. So this can talk about you guys having a hot head when angered. Sexual expression, right? Now, for sexual expression, you want to look at your Mars sign, but you also want to compare it with your eighth house, basically, to also tell about the nature of how you express yourself sexually, right? Um, how you are in the bedroom, basically. Um, definitely, when you have Mars in Aries, you're very passionate, or you need a uh, passion, basically, right? Um, you could be the type that's ready to, ready to uh, get things going, but of course, aspects, of course, will change this. Look to see also what's going on in your 8th house 
for instance, if you have Saturn in your eighth house, this may restrict you a little bit in your intimate life or with how you deal with sexuality, right? Even though you could be very much um, passionate, you know what I mean, and, and, and very much wanting to go, you know, because the Aries is the ram, basically. So you have to compare these different parts of your chart. Now, in a woman's chart, you said that Mars is the ideal boyfriend archetype, right? So, you need someone who's strong. You need someone who's a bit independent, maybe not so much on you. Love language is more so kind of like Venus in terms of how you relate, but in terms of uh, physical attraction, you need someone who's maybe a boss, you know what I mean? They're only to maybe someone who has a business, maybe someone who's into um, fitness, which Mars and Aries energy rules over. You may be attracted to people who fight, you know what I mean? Fighters, uh, people who are competitors in terms of sports, as Mars and Aries energy can rule over. Um, just as an example, it can play out a lot of ways, but you know, someone who's active, you know what I mean? That's what I would think, or just takes action, you know? Um, one thing I meant to say is that I've been telling everybody is that what I'm going to do is leave a um, Another video in this corner and also in the description with keywords for each um, Zodiac sign so what you do is I want you to look into the house that Mars is in basically and That house is going to correspond with a zodiac sign if it's in the first house. This would be Aries Second is Taurus third is Gemini fourth is Cancer fifth would be Leo, 6th is Virgo, 7th is Libra, 8th is Scorpio, 9th is Sagittarius, 10th is Capricorn, 11th is Double Down on that Aquarius energy as this Aquarius house, and Pisces would be 12. So you also want to compare the sign of Aries in terms of keywords, qualities of Aries with whatever house it's in basically, right? Now, um, in terms of where you have conflict, it usually shows up by sign and also house. So Mars coming through Aries, being that you're the type that can be confrontational or just very aggressive or direct, you may find that you rub people the wrong way, right? So you may cause some of your own conflict, basically, right? Because you're not scared to fight normally. Um, you may have other placements that may change this, but this is just a general energy. Um, also look in terms of um, by house, as this could show where you have conflict too, as you guys are wanting to take action or rise, as this is kind of what Mars and Aries can represent. This may be why you have some issues in that area, right? As you want to, you desire to initiate, you desire to take action, be a leader, right? Um, I think that's pretty much it in terms of what I want to talk about. I hope that this video was very insightful. Stay tuned. We got Mars and Taurus next, and thank you for your time.